What's up guys, back here again with another pickup video. Um, this time I'm going to switch it up a little bit, because as you guys have seen, I've been um, collecting a lot of PSP games. Um, I've been meaning to get into other systems that I have, but PSP has just been sucking me in and I don't know why. It's become quite a uh, RPG system. Um, but today I have a DS RPG, finally. Um, and I got Radiant Historia. Now, I was in the same boat with this game as Trails in the Sky. I couldn't find it anywhere, and I really didn't want to order it off of Amazon because shipping kills me. I hate that so much. And I, I don't, my job, I don't get paid that much. I get like 160 a week. It's not that great. Um, but, uh, yeah, I got tra um, Radiant Historia. Um, it's an RPG for the DS. And there's a time travel aspect in it aspect it's like the main aspect of the game so as as people have seen with time travel and RPGs you really can't go wrong with that Chrono Trigger being the main example Chrono Cross as well you really can't go wrong with time travel in RPGs it adds it adds just that I don't know what's the right word for it but it adds something to a storyline time travel Movies, games, or otherwise, time travel adds something to a story. So yeah, guys, Radiant Historia was my pickup for this week. Um, next week, I might be taking a little break for about two weeks or so. Um, but but the next video is probably going to be Dragon Quest pickup. Maybe we'll see. I uh, but who knows? And I want to start getting my reviews out there. My reviews aren't going to be you know like top quality because I don't have a capture card. I would like one, but, you know, my reviews are just going to be me in front of the camera. So, anyway, guys, Radiant Historia this week. Stay tuned, subscribe, comment, and uh, until next time, guys, I'll see you later.